Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So I think that um, New Look snuck in their new spring patterns. It honestly is so hard to keep up with what's new over at the Simplicity umbrella, which is Berta style New Look and Simplicity patterns. Um, partly because the website is difficult to navigate. Uh, and for whatever reason, like New Look social media, I don't see much from them and Simplicity's social media doesn't really post a lot about it. I don't know. Maybe I just missed it. But I am was just checking in on them as I periodically do. And I think that these new look patterns are new. New to me anyways. So we are going to cover them in a first impression video. First up, we have this two-piece dress. That's fun. Okay, it's a top and skirt and you make them out of the same cell fabric and it kind of sort of looks like a dress. That's a fun idea. Um, what do we think of the individual pieces though? That is the question. So the top looks to be obviously a very loose fitting um, bodice. The sleeves are adorable um, and then it ties in the front and then that gets layered over an asymmetrical hem, like a handkerchief hem, elasticized waist skirt that has a center front and I'm assuming a center back seam. Um, this one, okay, so this is actually um, kind of calling toward the um, scarf trend that's happening. Uh, a lot of designers are finding fabrics that look like scarves and making dresses, tops, skirts, whatever out of them. So that's what I think this illustration is trying to help us out with. I wish they would have made it out of that instead of this, but nonetheless, um, this isn't super flattering. Uh, it's kind of goes back to, you know, my problem with most shift dress patterns is you just completely lose your waist in this. Like, you just don't have a waist anymore. Um, the skirt is not tucked in. This is layered over. So I probably would, if I got this pattern, which I probably won't, but if I did, I would wear them separately. So this top with slim, close-fitting pants, and then the skirt with, like, a, a shirt tucked in. But if you have, like, a... Uh, why isn't the image changing? If you have like a um, like a boyish square shape or uh, even if you're like triangle shaped, I think that this would be a good option for you. Yeah, just not, that's kind of short, right? It's like, hello. Yeah, maybe add some, <laughs> some length to that. Yeah, she can't bend over very far, but it is it is a cute concept. I like the idea. Just the shaping isn't for me. Um, here are the sizes. They have one size and it fits 8 to 20. And then the envelope back. I forget. The envelope back has zero information. Oh, here we go. Suggested fabrics. Shally, Charmeuse. Okay, so those kind of like lightweight, like really lightweight drapey um fabrics would be best this jacquard i don't know about that very lightweight and then very lightweight linen that's a little misleading probably but but anyways cute concept all right next we've got this uh jacket pants and top pattern it's already looking unfortunate uh <laughs> Just a little shapeless, again, completely shapeless. Plus, what is with these fabrics? I am all for like a muted color palette, but like all of them together like that is kind of sad, you know? Um, but okay, so we have a little basic tank top. We have a, oh God, I had those when I was in like high school. Um, like a little cardigan that ties at the neckline. I mean, okay. 
forward shoulder gathering and this like bell sleeve with a slit. But look, her sleeve is like a um, bishop sleeve. So maybe they have options for sleeves. And then elasticized pants with maybe a large pleat. Oh, I don't know. Those are just, again, kind of sad. And of course, they're not going to show us another picture. We've got one image. Like, I know that when they're there on these photo shoots, they must take, you know, dozens of images of each look. Like, give us a back view. Unless the back view is really, really bad. Oh, that's silly. Okay, so here's our basic tank top. This could be interesting. There's the bishop sleeve version. And then here's our sad pant. Uh, side seam pockets. Ugh, yeah. I don't know. I don't need this in my life. <laughs> that's probably the best way to say it. So the tank top is knit. Lightweight knit jersey, rib knit, okay. Uh, and then the little jacket, more of a cardigan, like lightweight number. Uh, chambray and cotton, linen, poplin, sateen, silky types. Yeah, I don't know about some of these. Uh, and then, oh, that's for the... Oh, that's for the um, cardigan and the pants. Well, okay. I would make the cardigan out of the same fabric I'm making the pants out of. The cardigan to me needs to be a little bit drapier. And the pants need to be a little bit more structured. In my opinion. Yeah. I like new look patterns usually. I hate that I'm disappointed already. All right. Mini dress, tunic, and top. Okay. Okay. She must be 15. Um, sorry, side. <laughs> so my, my brain went somewhere else. When I, she's beautiful, but she's young. Um, okay, so, all right. I mean, kind of unfortunate illustration. We'll get to the line drawings where we can dissect it a little bit further. I don't hate the seaming. We've got like a, a dolman sleeve into like a princess seamed panel crossover button placket thing and then a, a band for the neckline and your hem this could be very flattering this could be very flattering I think that they've done an unfortunate job styling her like this fabric is not great um but I could see it being I think I could see it being kind of cute let's look at the line oh Okay, so here's the back, and it looks like um, this little gathered piece kind of goes into a, like, see how this is at an angle, and then it wraps around to your natural waist in the back with these little button tabs. That's kind of fun and interesting. Again, they're not going to show us a picture of the back. I think that could be a really cute little layering piece for the spring, honestly. I really do. For me, I would shorten it. You know, I need my jackets to end at high hip rather than low hip, or they need to go to my knee. Um, ending here is just not very flattering on me. But if I shortened it or lengthened it for that purpose, um, I think it could be really cute. Let's see what they suggest for fabrics. Where are we? It's not in here? Oh, here we go. Batik, interesting choice. Chambray, okay, obvious choice. Cotton types, linen types, poplin, shirtings, probably more, these two probably more so for the dress. Silky types for the top. Yeah, lightweight tweed, linen for sure, a thousand percent. And yeah, some cotton blends would work okay. I, I think I want it to be more like a jacket than a shirt. Um, oh, but they also don't show it buttoned up like the dress either. Oh, they really are making this difficult. Like, I'd like to see what it looks like buttoned up. But I'm guessing 
if I like it like this, then I also like it buttoned up, in which case, if I decide to make a dress option, yeah, a lot of these would be really great. Oh, I don't know. I hate not knowing for sure. You know what I mean? But this is a contender because I could see myself making all three, all three lengths. All right. New look, 6607. Here we've got little pants and shorts. Okay. You guys, are there misses like for teenagers? Maybe that's why I like new looks so much. I don't know. They do tend to be a little bit shorter, the hem lengths. Anyways, uh, okay, so we've got, in my opinion, a low rise pant. I mean, her belly button's probably here. These are her hip bones, I'm imagining. Uh, so, by my standards, that's a low rise. Uh, let's see. Oh, God, side seam pockets, which I absolutely loathe because they always pucker out, which is probably why they have her putting her hands in her pocket so you can't see how they're puckering. I am on to you, new look marketing team. Uh, I mean, it has a cute little belt and th this little like uh, pleat being released into the waistband, kind of sort of like a paper bag. Uh, him is okay. Here's the back. But yeah, this is the only picture we're gonna get of the pants. Dang. Yeah, this is a little, uh, again, high school, you know, where the belt loops are below the waistband. That's, that's a little bit of a throwback. So yeah, and then the flare leg, not necessarily for me. I don't want to, the fitting through here is not, I don't want to mess with that. But again, if you have a figure suitable for, you know, kind of straighter, uh, pants or shorts, or you like fiddling with patterns. This is, I don't know. I don't I mean, what is that going to look like? A pleat opening up into your butt? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, chambray, cotton types, double gauze. What the heck? Lightweight linen wall, seriously? No, I don't want my pants made out of that, especially this close fitting. What is happening? Maybe this is why I didn't know the patterns were released. They were trying to keep it a secret or something. Oh man, I'm trying not to be so cynical, but this is difficult. Okay, we have got a elasticized waist pleated skirt. Basic as basic gets. I will say this is cute. And if they provide instructions on how to achieve something that looks like that without an embroidery machine, I'm all ears. The fabric is adorable though, right? I'm obsessed with that fabric. I wish they told us where they got it. Um, the hem is cute. I just don't... I, can you achieve that on your home sewing machine? Let's see if it says anything in here about it. Probably not. Cotton, cotton types, double Georgette, lightweight linen, silky types. Okay. Requirements, thread and elastic. So they don't require you to have an embroidery machine. I bet you could go to like Joanne or Hobby Lobby and pull out the instruction booklet and see. Maybe I'll try and do that and see what the instructions say for this. It's a cute skirt. It's a cute skirt. I like it. It's just basic, you know? Like, I'm not paying full price, even though full price is $4.29. Uh, Size-wise, they just have the one. Sorry, I've been forgetting to do that on the others. What is this, a belt? I didn't see the belt. Do I see a belt? What is that? Necktie? Wait, 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 what? It's a necktie. 
I don't, oh, like a scarf, like the little scarf that, like a cute little scarf. Why isn't she wearing it? Guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right. This looks pretty redeeming. Let's see. We've got a top, Mrs. Top. Okay. It's got uh, some, like, what are they called? Shoot, pin tuck, pin tuck pleats here, uh, opening into like a little bell sleeve. That's adorable. And then this little lace trim sewn into the hem. Um, you've also got this just basic tank version, and then you've got more of a blouse that has shoulder pleating and these cute little bows on the elasticized uh, three-quarter sleeves. Okay. The back just has a center back seam with a little um, keyhole closure. These are kind of fun, actually, if you've never done pin tucks before. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to mark them on your pattern, but um, they are fun to sew and what they produce is really cute, I think. They did, this is probably a linen, some kind of linen. This could also be um, like pom-pom trim or fringe or, you know, whatever you wanted to do. So this is cute, a, a little on the basic side, but cotton lawn, cotton types, lightweight linen, shirtings, wall. Yeah, all that makes sense. Uh, elastic cording. Hmm. And one button. I wonder where the elastic cording goes. Huh. I mean, you only need two inches of it. Oh, I bet they're using that for the hook in the back. You know, the loop that goes around the button? I'm guessing. And then lace and then ribbon on view C. Ribbon. Oh, these are ribbons. This isn't self-fabric. This is ribbon. So, okay. Fair enough. Sizes 10 through 22 only. Yeah, these aren't even available to order yet. Uh, okay, we've got mini dress, again, tunic and top. Um, okay, a little... A little on the maternity side maybe just because it's white but set in sleeve <laughs> gathered little sleeve flouncy thing empire waist this is actually kind of cute I do like that uh, little pleats here or I'm sorry darts and then sewn into a gathered skirt it's giving me like hospital gown slash maternity vibes. And maybe that's because all of these are like pastel. Like, I don't know. Maybe if you made it in a bolder print. This has contrast. Eek. Right? Isn't this um solid and this is a print? I don't know what that's going to look like. But you've got three different sleeve options. And then two lengths, it looks like. Let's see. Oh, and a little tie around the back. Hmm. Yeah, look at that contrast. Okay. Or is that like a lace overlay, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Interesting. I. Yay, yay, yay. Here's what it looks like from far away. Is that any better? <laughs> Do we like that more? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, that's a little bit better, right? Oh, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, let's see. Fabrics. Shally, charmeuse, cotton lawn, dotted Swiss, eyelet, gauze, handkerchief linen, which is like lightweight linen. Silky types wall. Um, I mean, maybe. It's not blowing me away. Just the one size range. 
8 to 20. Hmm. All right, now we've got this asymmetrical top. And I don't know if the other patterns have been so unfortunate that that is why I don't hate this one <laughs> or if it's actually cute. I can't tell. But they did find the perfect matching button. Uh, hmm. Well, it's short. I mean, it's hitting her right at her high hip. Um, golly. Here it is with out the sleeve. Is that better? <laughs> The tie is better, but that's also just like been done, you know, a wrap top. Seen it. Hmm. Are you guys liking these better than me? Am I just like overly cynical tonight? What is happening? I think this could be one of those tops that you make and wear and get a lot of questions about, like, maybe even compliments about because it is so kind of unique and you don't really see it in ready to wear very often. But at the same time, if you're not seeing it in ready to wear, then does that mean it's like not cute or not, not, not everything doesn't have to be trendy, but old fashioned I'm getting, I don't know. Plus it's also too big for her shoulder. I mean, that view could be cute. I have to look at it on this screen. I mean, that's not bad, right? I think it could be cute. And I'm always looking for like interesting woven tops. And it would look really great with my new coral pants because they're so high waisted. So this is a maybe. This is a maybe. <laughs> Batik, chambray, cotton types, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin, sateen. There's no sateen. Sateen is too, it's like too heavyweight to me. Shirtings and silky types. Like all of these things are like, well, lightweight linen, I would say. But then you throw a sateen in there. Sateen's got like hardly any drape or body. It would just be like a box sitting on top of you. But look at these back darts. That's inspiring and kind of redeeming. I like those a lot. Maybe that's why I like the shape of it so much. Hmm, yeah, it's a maybe. Maybe in a cute fabric choice. I think the fabric was really cute too. That would help a lot. This is just kind of plain. And like I said, the tie ones I think would be cute. Okay, wrap dress. We've seen a gajillion of these at this point. So things that I look for in wrap dresses, and we're already off to a bad start, is how low they come. And like, this is low. I mean, this is below her bust apex. So keep that in mind. You can obviously, you know, correct that, raise the neckline. But it's difficult because you can't just like draw a new neckline. You have to draw a whole new like this, you know, and then it compromises what happens right here. And wrap dresses are so tricky, especially if you have a fuller bust, you're going to be hanging out of this, busting out. Um, but we've got little bust starts, little sleeves, sleeveless option. And I guess this is just for the border print. There's also not a lot of volume here, which makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, what was I doing? Line drawings. Yeah. How are B and C different? Something about this waist belt thing. But I don't know. Just a thinner belt. They wrap around twice. They do have the back darts. Um, actually, this is probably more like there's a waist seam under here, I think. I mean, probably. And then these are not fisheye darts. They're just regular darts. One in the bodice and one in the skirt. Um, calico. You don't see that very often. 
Shally, chambray, cotton types, crepe de chine, jacquard, okay, linen types, silky types. Yeah, C is border print. And then just two buttons. So yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just a thinner, thinner belt. Does it even say in the details? Nope. Just the one size. Eh, it's okay. I mean, if you don't have a wrap dress, <laughs> I don't know. I probably still wouldn't recommend that one. All right. Now we've got a knit pattern. Okay. Uh, 10 to 22 size range. Uh, you guys, it's like a t-shirt dress. It's exactly a t-shirt dress. What's going on in the back? Nothing. A center back seam. I will say, though, sometimes they do build in a little bit of shaping into this center back seam, so it's better than nothing. But, I mean... I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it looks great on her. You know? She has, like, no curves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to imagine it being a little bit wider. Like, a little bit wider through here. It's also one of those things, like, I don't ever go to the store looking for a knit t-shirt dress. Like, it's just not something I ever reach for or think that I need, you know? Um, stretch. So, interlock jersey, single knit, stretch velvet. All right. Hem tape. Oh, that's an interesting technique that you could learn something from. Only three eighths of a yard, though, so maybe the neckline. Oh, goodness, this is pretty dismal. You guys stick it in there with me on this one? Oh, man. All right, we have. Okay, so it's like. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not writing it off again, like keeping an open mind, but it looks like um like a basic shift dress underneath. And then you overlay this like scarf chiffon-y looking stuff. And then it's like a curtain tie back, you know, <laughs> the tie backs on your wall that hold your curtains back, that hold your curtains open. That's what that is <laughs> sewn in. Oh, but look at all these pictures we get. Yay, finally. Okay, let's see the back. Pretty shapeless and short. Okay, same picture, just from a different distance. And the sleeves are not looking good. Yeah, this like drop shoulder sleeve situation with just like a tube sewn on the end, that's not, not my favorite. I don't know. Do you guys like this curtain? This is This is literally like drapes being pulled back on your body. Oh, I wanted to like it. And I got to say the fabric application in the sample is, is spot on. So I can't even blame that. Hmm. I always like to look at their faces too and see if she looks genuinely happy or feels cute. Also, look, isn't that a face? That's creepy. I got to move on. <laughs> I gotta move on. Oh, and it only comes in extra, like the letters, extra small through extra large. Oh gosh, this is very um, defeating. Shally, charmeuse, crepe, crepe de chine, jacquard, silky types. I mean, I might even do the base of it in like a a scuba, or you can do the base of it in something a little bit more structured, and then do this little scarfy part in a. Uh, a lighter weight fabric. No, oh, what is this? A sheath dress. <sighs> okay, so we've got a sheath dress that is too small for her, I think. But maybe that could be the fabric. Um, it's got this little, like, you know, scoopy little neckline thing. 
So princess seemed bodice and then darts in the skirt. You know, she's had very slim fitting skirts. Um, you have this sleeve, uh, a little bateau neckline, or you can add a little bell sleeve. I mean, I could make this out of patterns that I already have. Like, I don't need a new pattern for this. And we get one. What fabric is that? This part fits her great. That is like perfectly placed. Um, but like you can see her belly button through it. <laughs> like you have to have a bomb figure um, to pull off whatever fabric this is. I'm guessing it's some kind of silk or something. It is pulling a little bit through here though, you can see. Anyways, uh, analyzing fit. Uh, crepe, double knit. Okay, Dupioni. Dupioni? Okay. Gabardine, linen type, sateen, shantong, wool types. Okay, yeah. I mean, all those work for sheep dresses, so why not this one? Uh, 8 through 20 on the sizing. I almost can't wait for this to be over. Okay. <laughs> We've got... Oh, man. Like a 1920s style dress where you have this like really exaggerated waistband, this empire waist uh, seam here, and then your natural waist here. Little gathers, little buttons, little collar, little sleeves. Cutesy, cutesy. Um, our alternate views have maxi dress version. Uh, this flutter sleeve with a midi length, and then this is what she's wearing. Um, and don't get me wrong, this is going to be a very cute dress, and you guys are going to make adorable versions out of it. I think I'm just underwhelmed in general, so I'm not, like, getting super excited about it. Um, nice, big, long back darts, though, which is nice. Side zip, I also like that. Um, and then with a collar without, you have a lot of gathering. So you have gathered sleeve caps, gathered forward shoulder seam, and gathered bust. It's going to be adorable. Do, do not not make this because I'm not like, oh my god, it's the cutest thing ever. It's going to be adorable and very, very, very flattering. I'm just <laughs> kind of over it. Oh man. Okay. Eight through twenty. Uh, let's see. These are going to be like our typical lightweight dress fabrics. Chalet, Charmeuse, Crepe, Crepe de Chine, Jacquard, Linen Type, Silky Types. Yeah, I think this is actually suitable for some more, um, stable wovens too, like, uh, the lawn and the boils and, um, and stuff like that. You could also do, uh, the Crepe. I don't remember if it said Crepe now. Um, you could also do Poplins, um, anything made out of rayon, but also cotton blends too. So I think it would be good in lots of those versions. Okay. And then we have this dress. Guys. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> you've got princess seams and a center front seam all that open up at your high hip into uh, pleats. So, I mean, maybe you could let them out so that they open up here instead. I'm sure you could. So that might be a little bit better. This is just not going to be flattering on me. Just, no. But <laughs> in addition to that, you've got, I think, a ruffle neckline. And then like a couple layers to the sleeve, possibly. Um, you've also got this little sleeve. And the sleeveless one that doesn't have a ruffle neckline, but it has a neck band. And this one does not have a neck band, right? Oh no, it has the ruffles. There you go. And I love ruffles. So if I'm like... I don't know about the ruffles. 
And didn't it look like on her too that this opened up way lower, like down here? So I guess you could play around with where you stop the um, princess seam and where you let the skirt open, I guess. I don't know what the pattern pieces look like. I'm imagining that these are, oh, I don't know. Because they could be, yeah, I don't know. I've never made anything like this before, so I don't know what it looks like. Just being honest. But like the top stitching too, what is the point of that? But like, see, this is her natural waist, way up here, way, way, way up here. So I feel like if it were like the line drawing, it would open up right about here. So keep that in mind. What's the back look like? The same. I don't, then that looks a lot lower in the back. Yeah, I don't want these opening up at the apex of my butt. And look how low this one opens, like right in between your legs. <laughs> ah, no, no. You could make it cuter and it wouldn't take a lot of work to do it, but this is not helping. That's not helping. <clears throat> um, six through 18 on the sizing there. And then our fabrics are going to be our staple woven. So chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, linen types, poplin, wool. Yes, I agree with all of that. Okay, now apron, kids clothes. Okay, that's the end. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, there are a couple maybes like this top here, this top here, this skirt, but that, this jacket. So, I mean, that's about you know, a quarter of them, maybe two, maybe a third of them. But when it was bad, it was real bad. And like I said, I usually love New Look. But if New Look is supposed to be like the younger, like teen, early 20s, I don't see anyone in that age range wearing this. Like, what? No. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look very fashionable to me. Like nothing really inspired here. It's just clothes. Oh, I don't know. I'm being so hard on them. But like I said, there are some redeemable ones. Like you, this will be cute. I mean, I'm not going to make it. But when you, <laughs> when you make it, it will be cute. This could be cute with a little bit of work. Um, but yeah. All right. So that's it for the new looks. Let me know what you guys think of them. Am I being too harsh? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below, but until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.